All right, let's talk about how I use my CM1 for production, small scale in my shop. So with the CM1, you only have a 10 by 12 inch table. And when you put a TRT 75 axis trunnion on there, you're cut down to just this space, this small little four by six area. There was no ready to go solutions for zero point systems. And I really did need it in order to actually make my products because I like to make it in low volume and kind of make it to order. So I want something quick, repeatable, and I know it could work. Um, I looked at a lot of vices and what I ended up finding that was a perfect size was orange vice centering um, fifth axis vice. This thing was great. And what I liked about it most is that it used a dovetail system that was very similar to their main line of vices that they did sell pallets for. I asked the guy if he planned on selling pallets for it. He said no. So I went and designed my own really simple to where it just has the two dovetails at the end and then four places for pins. I only use two of those slots. You throw it on top, it locates in the pins, and then you tighten down, and the dovetail clamps it down to the uh, vise and repeats. Uh, for my testing, it's pretty much within about a thou repeatability uh, by doing it. So I now just have one fixture point that I use to make the pallets and then make the products. And then I have a fixture point for my fifth axis, and that's all I have to worry about. And if I do vise work, then I just leave G54 and I use the probe for that. But yeah, and then in order to make those pallets, before I put all this stuff on here, I had to create a larger, bigger pallet, that's the mother pallet, that takes these billets and turns them into my pallets so they're ready to go and I can easily restock and replenish. And what's great is I can buy these pallets for about, sorry, these billets for about $12. And in 10 minutes, it creates a perfect pallet. And then I could turn those pallets into various work holdings for product. So that when I just need to make something, I just throw a pallet on the machine hit the file and hit go. And then when I'm designing new products, throw a pallet on, hit go, and I have it saved in my CAD library. Um, but yeah, great solution. If you're needing for space and you want a cheap zero point system, this has been fantastic.